Usyk shakes his own head like, I don't know what you know. Gotta be. I gotta prove it all again. I know he can't beat me. I know he can't. So Usyk doesn't say, yes, I can. He, he, he shakes his own head to say, nope, I can't beat you. I can't beat you. So that's a reverse psychology trick done to Tyson Fury. Now Tyson Fury looking at Usyk, thinking this guy's trying to do a reverse psychology trick on me. Look what Tyson Fury says. Listen, he's a God-fearing man. Now he brings religion into it. They're both Christian guys, guys. The one thing about it is, guys, he he brings into he brings faith into it now. So I want to let I want to let you hear what Tyson Fury says about it. Then I want to give you my take on this because there is an interesting angle here regarding the faith and what they believe in. Listen, he's a God-fearing man. So am I. I know. We so now, guys, he starts talking about his faith. Um, I believe they're both Christians. So listen, listen to what he says. They are the two biggest Christians in boxing. He says we're the two biggest Christians. I don't know if that's true, but I know they both believe in uh, Christianity. Well, without a failure. He can train all he wants. I can train all I want. But whoever God wants to win this fight will win. Will win. I believe, guys, from what Tyson Fury has just said here, this is probably the most non-bullshit um, he's been saying. This is probably the most truth he said in this press conference. Whoever God wants to win is going to winning this press conference and I think Usyk knows Tyson Fury is now talking truthful now Tyson Fury has to pull this card out because he's not winning the other cards so now he has to go to the faith card and Usyk is a very very religious person from what I know from the little bit of research I've done he is a big believer in God um, he doesn't like to talk too much but he has a lot of faith in God and Tyson Fury is now speaking it out to Usyk I do believe Tyson Fury is gaining a slight edge from what he's saying here. It don't matter if you're from the group. At this point, Tyson um, Usyk's like, I have to be honest, guys, Usyk's like, damn, he's actually spitting some truth here. I can't deny this. So this is where Tyson Fury, in my opinion, I'm not saying he's edging over Usyk, but in this area that he's talking about, this is, if you want to call a weak point for Usyk or... I wouldn't want to say it's a vulnerability spot. They both believe in God, but um, there is a um, there is a, a slight area of entry into Usyk by Tyson Fury talking about this stuff. Gutter or the kingdom of wherever. Just notice how Usyk's just studying the character. Whoever's chosen to win this fight will win it. More than anything, why I respect you more than all the other boxers. So now Usyk has not changed his posture. Usyk knows Tyson Fury has he's got something. Tyson Fury's got something that is truthful. It's not. I'm not saying it's an advantage, but this is truth. He's saying truth. Tyson Fury points at him and says, "I'll tell you why I respect you about everyone." It's because your faith. Because your faith. Yes. 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 Of course. Now, guys, I gotta be honest. I've gotta be honest. Tyson Fury got Usyk here. He got him. He mouse trapped him, guys. Just look at. Usyk's reaction just look at the way he said yes yes of course guys you know those Russian spies um Vladimir Putin was a was a Russian spy he'd been trained up by I think it I can't remember the name now um there's a I think it starts with a K but I can't remember it Vladimir Putin was trained as a Russian spy when he was young before he became president you don't forget these antics now Tyson Fury has got Usyk in what he's saying. He's saying the truth. Now, Usyk has to try and bluff this and not make a scene because I believe Usyk believes what Tyson Fury is saying as well. So he has to keep it low and look at the way he says, yes, yes, of course. It's like a Russian spy, guys. He doesn't want to show his authenticity and agree with Tyson Fury because he knows Tyson Fury is telling the truth here. There's, there's no lies here. The gutter. Or the kingdom of wherever. Whoever's chosen to win this fight will win it. More than anything, why I respect you more than all the other boxers is because your faith. Yeah. Just look at the eyebrows that go up. Usyk's trying to hide this as much as he can in a subliminal way. But Tyson Fury's got him on the faith thing. Not saying he's going to win him mentally, but you can't deny this. Yes, yes, of course. Of course. That's why. Goes back quiet. Now, he agrees with him. He agrees with him, but he doesn't want to give too much away. Hey, that's why I respect you. Listen, champion... Champion, champion, great, but to, to see someone also, a world champion, who's also big faith in God, is unbelievable. So now Tyson Fury is obviously saying some truth here. So Tyson Fury is a 
different type of personality he's trying to use anything he can use now he has to go to faith they both believe in god so he's probably coming from a genuine place when he's saying this to usik he needs to try and push some sort of button he needs a way into usik's heart and the other biggest thing in usik's heart is, is faith in god but i don't think usik's gonna let him penetrate that but Tyson Fury has touched on the button, guys. Now, let's just see what Usyk says. And it's been 24 years since we had an undisputed champion in boxing. So Tyson Fury is trying to be genuine as possible. And he's trying to speak to Usyk on a level that he would understand too. So let's see. It's for our destiny now to go on and fight for the championship. Nobody else was chosen in all the 24 years. Many heavy... Yeah, you got to give it to Tyson Fury, guys. He's a very good talker. And he knows how to get to you. He, he can... He will tiptoe around everything. If it has to be faith, he'll go faith. If it has to be disrespect, he'll go disrespect. Even Usyk understands what Tyson Fury is saying right now is legitimate. He were champions before you, before me. He has to stay the character out and say, you know what? There's no bluffing in this one. The guy's I'm not going to say he's got me, but I can't bluff this one out. He's right. Before us, but they didn't have the opportunity to fight for the undisputed championship. And all you can do is just nod and say, yep, you're right. Because Uzi can't fake this. For one reason or the other. He just has to kind of keep the spy Vladimir Putin style. But um, just agree. Of course. Of course. Just look at the... Of course. You're right. There's no hiding it. You're right. So, all, all we got to do... Now, Tyson Fury is like, okay, I got you now. I know you're a big believer in God. I am too. Now, I'm just going to stick it on you a bit by saying this. Now is dance. And I look forward to the challenge. Let's dance. I look forward to the challenge. So that's him looking straight at Usyk's soul. This is Tyson Fury on the offense now saying, you know, I am ready for it. But again, as, as we know, guys, he pulled it out. But again, that could just be an injury. But there is sides. There is a small side of Fury where he's saying, come on, let's have it. I'm on it. One of us is going to go. Um, let's have it. And you can see by Usyk's reaction that he knows Tyson Fury is going to come to fight. Do you, do you... So he had to look away, he had to, he had to just do a quick look. He, he, he's taking it in like, okay, okay, but let me look away. I think at some point in the future. And he looks back over to him. But again, I don't think this is too deep, but um, I have to break it down from an analytical way. Usyk now knows Tyson Fury understands the concept of the faith. He does have a bit of a puzzle in front of him in terms of the faith as aspect. From what I know, both these guys believe in God more than their skills. Um, that's the psychology of both these fighters in one sense but uh, there was a comment guys on one of my videos i want to show you it i'll put it here um i'll put it on the screen now but what it read basically guys um i found it very interesting so i thought i'd share it so so this is the video on the turkey ala sheik exposed video there's a guy called um forgive me if i say your name wrong it's david petro music and he said a good point here guys i want i want your guys view on it he said i found it disgusting personally but i believe Usyk would upset the cards he has god in his corner fully and will overcome it for sure i have said before that one guy has jesus in his mouth and the other has jesus in his heart so obviously he's applying tyson fury has jesus in his mouth he talks it but Usyk he has jesus in his heart now guys i don't want to make this a I don't want to go into too much of a uh, religious or biblical debate. I do enjoy topics like this. So from my limited knowledge of Christianity, again, I, I don't have too much knowledge on it. But from what I know about it is it's not about talking. Um, from what I know, Jesus was a guy that preached and he had a lot of people that hated him. He wasn't in the crowds trying to gain crowds to follow him. He was a guy that would give his message and... It actually run away from the crowds. So from what I know, Christianity is more about living a quiet life and following obviously the te teachings of Christianity in your heart. Not about talking and being loud and brash and egotistical. Um, again, limited limited knowledge on Christianity, but from what I know. So this comment here, I thought I found it very interesting. I might want to, I might do a video on this, guys, just to delve deep. This is a different topic um, regarding the faith of these two guys and how it plays a role in the in, in this fight mentally from a psychological point of view. But yeah, let's carry on. Five years, ten years, fifteen years with grandchildren. Do you think you'll all get together? Honestly, speaking honestly to God, I don't have any rivalry with Alexander. 
No hatred. No. I don't think anyone thought Tyson Fury had hatred for Tyson um, Usyk, but the fact that he has to say it to let Usyk know, it mean it just shows me that Tyson Fury, from what he said in previous press conferences about you rabbit, you gappy teeth, this that, it's all an act, guys. He's he's literally telling Usyk it's an act, and I don't think Usyk's brought into the act, but it's like Tyson Fury's playing his own trumpet. He's the one who's putting the energy into these acts. But uh, yeah, he changes his mind every couple 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 days. Uh, Tyson Fury is just that type of character. Oh, there's no rivalry. It's just business. Just business for me. Go in there, do me thing. He's gonna do his thing, and that's it. I don't hate him. I don't dislike him. He's a likable character. I, I've got nothing bad to say about him. <laughs> you got nothing bad to say about him. How about this? I'm gonna bust him. Sausage, ugly little man, rabbit. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. You know what's coming, you're getting smashed to pieces, sausage. You're fighting the best British heavyweight there's ever been. The fucking dauntless in these waters, me. You beat all the rest of them, but you ain't beat Tyson Fury yet, sausage. Look at him, his heart's pounding now. He's like a little pussy with an earring in. Shit out. His bollocks have shriveled up now, they have. Little sausage. I don't, I I don't see with an earring in, you fucking pussy. I'm very Get happy back yeah. out. Where's Alexander Usak, the rabbit? Hey, rabbit! Usyk, you're next, little bitch. You're next. You are next. Me and you, sucker, next. Me and you. You're getting it, little sucker. Rabbit. Pussy. Fifteen stone little midget beat a bodybuilder. Well, I ain't a bodybuilder, sucker. I'm going to write you off. I already done one Ukrainian Klitschko dinner, and I'll do you as well, gappy teeth. You ugly little man! You ugly little man! Let's get it on, kids! Let's get it on, you as well! You may laugh now, but I will end this little sucker! End you! End you! End you! What are you gonna do? You're gonna do something! Are you gonna do something? You're gonna do fuck all! You're gonna do fuck all! You little sausage! You said quite a lot of things there, Tyson. You said a lot of things. See, just, just one of those guys, guys, he says one thing and then he does another thing, but that's Tyson for you. But it's unfortunate for Alexander that he's got to fight Tyson Fury in my era. <laughs> Watch this. Watch the smile. So that's it. I've only... Music reminds me of a cat, guys. Cunning, sly, and he will catch you. I got him to beat and I've wiped everybody out. And that's it. And that's it. That's the full flush. Full flush. He's not buying it. A royal flush. There would be Joshua. Tyson Fury scratching his nose. Somewhere down the line. He gets asked about Joshua now. Watch, watch. Tyson Fury's response about AJ. He he takes a shot at AJ. Even Usyk's interested to know what he wants to say because Usyk's the one who de destroyed Joshua twice. Now, Tyson Fury is dismissing AJ. I've done a video on that, so you can you can see his response first. And in theory. Oh. Okay. He beat Joshua twice, yeah. so you so can't, that takes care of that. Can't even mention Joshua. It, can't even mention Joshua. In the same table, he's beat Joshua twice. I beat Wilder twice. Is Wilder and Joshua on the same sort of level, guys? You tell me now. Personally, I don't think so. Joshua is way more of a credible opponent. So Usyk studying him out. I just find it funny how Tyson Fury doesn't want to fight Joshua. He's always looking for opportunities to get out of. I believe he's got some fear of Joshua, to be honest. But let's carry on. Is that me and him, which is going to be me? Then that's it. King of the castle. He goes, that's it. King of the castle. Whoever wins. End of. End of. And the Retirement. Just, just as a bonus point, if Fury does win, I have a feeling he may even retire and just not give Joshua. Just not do that Joshua fight, but we never know. Obviously, he said he's with the Saudis on a 10 fight deal, but let's carry on. Do you feel the same way, Alexander, or do you need a bit of hate, a bit of spite in your preparation? Do you need to maybe dislike the person some somehow? Мені взагалі не потрібна ненависть, тому що я виконую свою роботу на 300%. See how he said he doesn't need any hatred because he gives 300% for his job. And one thing about Usyk guys is he does. Work hard, guys. Remember, he's been training for Fury for years. And the amount of times, obviously, Fury's pulled out, you can see the annoyance on his face. He doesn't have hatred for Fury, but I think he just has um, annoyance. I love what I do. And... Hatred is hatred. 
Мені... В мене є спортивна злость. Мені... So he says hatred causes hatred which I agree. Then he says I have sporting anger and that's enough for me. Sporting anger, guys. So that's basically all the times Tyson Fury is pulled out of that fight. He's annoyed now. He just wants Tyson Fury in that ring. And guess what, guys? On the 18th of May, Tyson Fury cannot run anymore. I'm not saying Tyson Fury can't win, but I think he's very annoyed. Tyson Fury has tried to push this guy fight after fight after fight. Delay, 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 delay. So he breaks, but I don't think Usyk's going to break, guys. I believe Usyk's still in that gym training. If he's been training for you for years, guys, you delaying it further is not going to stop a guy like Usyk, but... Um, yeah, let's carry on. It's all the And finally, fellas, before uh, before we come to the end of this, um, I'd like, if you could, a prediction. I can outbox him. I'm a very good boxer, but I don't really use it anymore. He goes, I can outbox him. I'm a very good boxer, but I, can't, I don't really use it anymore. And again, guys, I'm going to say to you again, this was in, I think, December or early January this was taken. I think it was December, to be honest, probably towards the start of it. But... Not the start of it, it's, it was probably end of December, I'm guessing end of December, January And obviously their fight was scheduled for February the 18th He's literally saying, I'm a very good boxer, but I don't use it anymore Because he put a lot of weight on and he changed his style So remember he pulled out of the fight guys So listen to what he's saying When I boxed Vladimir Klitschko, I outboxed him Beautiful Fainted, slipped, slided and he couldn't land any punches Apart from Vladimir Klitschko and apart from Wilder, the first fight, we've never seen that version of Tyson Fury again. In my opinion, again, this is just my opinion. You can have your say. I'm, I don't know if the cut was legitimate or not. He needed that extra time. He wants to try and bring in that slick. I heard he's going to be coming in at his lightest weight. He wants to bring that slick style back and he needed more time, guys. That's why the fight was delayed. I'll do the same to him if I want to. Or else he goes, I'll do that style to Usyk if I want to. Saying it like he has a choice. I'll just go on the front foot and get stuck into him. There's he goes, or I'll go on the front foot and get stuck into him. There's only one person standing in, in his way of total domination in Europe. And that's the Dauntless, the Gypsy King. And what did I say? There ever never has been anybody else in Britain. Just look at Usyk, just studying him from the shadows. Britain, only Tyson Fury. No Joshua's, no... D He's not buying into it. David Hayes, no Chisora's, no Dubois, no Joe Joyce's. There's only Tyson Fury. And I stand up and I will defend and be victorious. <laughs> okay. What Tyson Fury is saying is not wrong. He's literally saying he's the one. Okay. He's got a point, guys. He hasn't lost yet, but... He's run away from the ring a lot of times now. Usyk did do a little bit of it. I wouldn't say it's a gulp. Only but Tyson it's more Fury. Of a, uh, and I stand up and I will defend and be victorious. It's more of a distaste. I don't really want to hear it anymore. Yes. You could look at it in a slight, slightly way that gulping slightly. A little bit of, you know what, you haven't lost. Is, I'm not going to say it's fear, but you could look at this in a way that Usyk's like, you know what, you are not wrong in what you're saying, so I know it's going to be a challenge, but I still believe Usyk is still got his faculties together. And all his As he looks up, he did, he did do a slight gulp, guys. We have to, we have to give credit where it's due. Tyson Fury did spit some facts in what he was saying. Tyson Fury is avoiding to get in the ring, but he's not lying, as in, He's beaten Joshua, he's beaten Dubois, and he's basically telling him, I'm the main guy, beat me. So let's see what uh, Usyk's response is. Alexander, final word to you. Tyson started, you can finish. What would Usyk looks away, gets, gathers his thoughts. Be your prediction. Will it be a He said there will be a big battle. I can change you when I start round Notice how he says then, and then after 12 rounds, when the winner is announced. So... Again, you can, you can buy into this if you want, guys. Notice how he never said the fight's going to be stopped, this, that. He says after 12 rounds. He's expecting this to go 12 rounds. Again, most of his fights do go 12 rounds, so he could be saying it for that reason. But my fear for this guy is if it's a close 12-round fight, I don't think Usyk will win it, in my opinion, just due to the judges. But I don't want to go into that one. But it says after 12 rounds when the winner's announced... Your 
Ukraine and the whole world will celebrate. So he's predicting a victory over 12 rounds. He's going to try and outdo Tyson Fury in Tyson Fury's game. Who knows, he may be able to go for the knockout, but it's a dangerous, dangerous game, guys. If this goes 12 rounds, Usyk's planning to dance circles around Tyson Fury, but Tyson Fury's got that extra time now, and I don't think he's just going to let Usyk do that, so it's going to be a good one. Tyson Fury against Alexander Usyk. Tyson Fury wants to go home. Undisputed, both unbeaten, a massive fight. It will be in Saudi, and we'll find out. Are we shaking hands? Yeah, shaking hands. Thank you. There's no nothing in this handshake, guys. There's nothing to break down. It's like both of them didn't even want to look at each other. They just done it for the show of it. And that's it, guys. So that's the breakdown done, guys. You leave your thoughts below. Um, this is my opinion and my views on what I saw. Leave your thoughts below and um, what do you think is going to happen in the fight, guys? Do you think uh, Fury is going to be ready for him or is Usyk going to be too much? Catch you in the next one.